All right, so we're demonstrating Proposition 42. Uh, it's Euclid 1, 42. All right, we're given a triangle, A, B, C, right? I'm going to draw that up for you. All right, triangle A, B, C, and get that out of there. We're given an angle D. And so this is our angle D. So what are we going to do with these? We're going to demonstrate the construction, right? so we're going to demonstrate how to construct a parallelogram, and we don't know what it is yet, so I'll just label it X equal to ABC in area, right? And on our given angle D. So we're going to take this angle, we're going to use it to build a parallelogram that is the same area as this triangle. So our first step, our first step is going to be to bisect BC at E. So let me just show you what that looks like. We're going to take this line here, the base of our triangle, BC, and we're going to bisect it, bisect it at the point E. And so that's bisected, so these two lines here, BE and EC, are equal to each other. And I'm going to write that up. We're going to need this piece later. We're also going to join the line EA. So to show you what that looks like, I'm going to take this point here, I'm going to join it to this point here with a single line. Like so. It's a little off. <clears throat> Our second step. We're going to construct an angle right over here. So we're going to construct, construct C E F equal to E. So we're just going to take an angle equal to this angle here, D, and we're going to construct it on this line, B C, at the point E. And we can do this. By proposition 123. Alright, that's what's going to let me do this. So I'm just going to take a line and go straight through E. Who knows how far it goes? It doesn't matter. What's important is the angle here, which is equal to this one that we were given. Our third step, we're going to draw a couple more lines. We're going to draw AG parallel, parallel to BC, and we're going to draw CG parallel to EF. So our point F is somewhere off in the distance here, we don't know where yet. So I'm going to draw these two lines, and that's going to specify the points G and F for us. So this is going to be my point G, and my point F, I'm going to put it right there. All right? And remember, we drew this parallel. So AG is parallel to BC. And we drew these two parallel, so EF right, is parallel to CG. So you can see that that point is still there. And I'm going to write this value down right here as well, because we're going to need this now. So AG 
parallel to BC. Okay, so this is all the steps of the construction. And now I'm going to show you the logic of this construction to show you that this parallelogram, F, E, C, G, fulfills the requirements of our demonstration. And that it is equal to this triangle A, B, C, and that it was constructed on an angle equal to the angle D. So we can see from these two things here that the triangle ABE is equal to ABC, right? Triangle ABE is equal to the triangle ABC, right? And this is true because of what we did in Proposition 138, which allows us to say that two triangles which have equal bases, BE and EC, and that are within the same parallels, AG and BC, will be equal to each other in area. So I can say that these two are equal to each other in area. <clears throat> but I can also say that this parallelogram here, this parallelogram F E C G is equal to two of one of these small triangles. I'm just going to use this one, A E C, right? And this is true for the same reason. And I can imagine cutting this parallelogram into two parts, where these are equal to each other, these two lines, FG and EC. And so I have a common base, EC, which tells me that this triangle here is equal to this one here. So AEC is equal to EFC, right, which is equal to FCG, which makes this parallelogram twice the area of this small triangle here. But remember, and we bisected this line here, which means that one of these small triangles here, right, side, 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 right, that these triangles here are each half of the big triangle. So one half of triangle A, B, C is equal to the small triangle A, E, C. Right? I can convert that and say that A, B, C is therefore equal to 2 A, B, C. Right? And then from our common notions, we know that two things, triangle A, B, C, and the parallelogram F, E, C, G, which are equal to the same thing, 2 A, E, C. 2 AEC are therefore equal to each other. So I can write up here that the triangle ABC is equal to the parallelogram, the parallelogram FECG, right? And we remember that when this parallelogram was constructed, it was constructed at an angle FEC back here which is equal to D, which is our given angle, right there. Which is what we were trying to prove. Q, E, and F, because it's a demonstration.